Welcome back, Lasers. I'm Owen Quet. And I'm Cameron Denisa. And we're going to be your hosts for the Laser Exclusive today. Are you ready for the Super Bowl? The class of 2024 and 2025 will be hosting a Super Bowl watch party on February 13th at 6.30 on the first floor of Arno. Food will be available first come, first serve. Make sure to come down to see the Bengals versus the Rams. The next upcoming meeting for SGA and SAA will be held next Tuesday on February 8th at the Arno Campus Center in the second classroom from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. All students are welcomed and encouraged to attend the meeting. Students with questions or concerns are encouraged to email SGA President Michael Wu via email at mwu at lasalle.edu. Sad, angry, confused. Those are just some of the feelings that millions of Patriots fans are feeling after the news that Tom Brady is retiring. Taylor Viles has more. Tom Brady announced his retirement from the NFL on Tuesday after 22 long years, 20 of which came with the New England Patriots. Then he went to Tampa Bay to finish off his career with the Buccaneers. Players and fans from all around the NFL were rocked by the news of the legendary quarterback retiring, but none more than the Patriots fan base. Many voiced their opinions on social media for him to return to New England to sign a one-day contract to retire with the team he had played over 90% of his career with. Some, though, still recognize what Brady meant to the sport of football overall. It was an amazing career, a great 22 years. Uh, it was fun to watch. One hell of a player. <laughs> When remembering back to some of Brady's best moments, there is one that always sticks, not just for Patriots fans, but for everyone who remotely follows the sport. That was when the team staged a 28-3 comeback against the Atlanta Falcons in the Super Bowl to claim their fifth of the dynasty. It was a legendary performance. I was ready to leave where I was. It was one of just many miracles performed by Brady during his time as a Patriot. Overall, fans are grateful for the six Super Bowls he brought to New England. A lot of good memories, and uh, we should be very grateful for what we got. Um, probably one of the greatest Boston athletes of all time. Brady finishes with seven Super Bowls, three MVP awards, and is on top of countless records lists. For LCTV, I'm Taylor Viles. Thanks, Taylor. Hey, you. Yes, you. You're watching the news right now. You could use our studio, which is now open to everyone to film in and make your videos look more professional. Anyone that wants to learn about the studio and talk on camera and be on camera, to learn more, contact any of us at LCTV or bwardiga at lasalle.edu. This spring, LaSalle Drama Club is putting on auditions for Playlist, a musical review, an original show featuring throwback songs from the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. Auditions are in the Yamawaki Center tonight, February 7th from 6 to 8.30 p.m. To sign up, go to one of the links on the LaSalle Drama Club social media. Don't like to sing? That's okay. You can audition with a one-minute monologue if you only want to act. If you wish to audition for a dancing part, you can contact Jamie Imperato at jtrevino at lasalle.edu to try out Please prepare a 32-bar cut of an 80s, 90s, or 2000s songs and or a one-minute monologue. If you love songs from the 80s, 90s, and 2000s and love to sing, act, or dance, come try out for Playlist, a musical review tonight. Do you have someone special in your life? On Valentine's Day, there will be card making in the Valentine Dining Hall for that someone special in your life. This event will be hosted by the class of 2025 and will help make your morning brighter. This event is happening on February 14th from 9 to 10 a.m. Join the Pulse Dance Team for a Heels Dance class this Thursday, February 10th. The class begins at 7.30 p.m. and ends at 9. Heels are not required to participate, but they are suggested. The class will be located in DeWitt Hall. Do you remember your childhood years? Come to Arno for 2000's Trivia Night. Test your knowledge off this era you grew up with. This event takes place on the 15th from 7 to 9 p.m., so you have plenty of time to study up. That's all for today. Join us next time for more campus stories. I'm Owen Quet. And I'm Cameron Deniso. Thanks for joining.